Hey, uh, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going over how to build an advanced wing in the world of Stormworks. So, with that said, let's go ahead and get right into the video. So guys, there's a few factors you have to consider before starting on your wing. How big do you want your wing to be? How tall do you want the base to be that attaches to the plane? How tall do you want your wing to go? How high of an angle do you want? Those are the questions that we're going to ask. So, um, what we're going to do for the example of this tutorial is we're going to go ahead and do a 35 meter wing, which is about all the way out to here. This is 35 meters out, roughly. And we're going to go about, say, 10 meters high. That's how high it's going to be. It's going to be a pretty high wing. It's going to be very flexible. Actually, let's decrease that to about 7.5. So we're going to go down 2.5 meters. And that's our wing slope. This is the slope that you see when you look at the front of the plane looking backwards. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and start with the root. It's going to be about, we'll call it seven blocks, maybe six blocks. So that's how big the root's going to be. So we, we got to start on our root. We got to start on the actual base of it to see how slope, how the slope is. And we also have to figure out how fast it slopes up and thins out. So we're just going to simply put a background of red so it's easy to see. And we're just going to use, say, light green for the actual wing blueprint. So it's going to be about six blocks, as we said before. And pretty much what we'll do is we'll go about four for now. We're going to go up uh, across four and up one for now. And we're slowly going to even this out. So it's going to be kind of steep going up this way and then it's going to slowly thin out like the gravity would be bending it down. That's pretty much the basics of how this is going to go. So we're going to go ahead and go with a slope of four, uh, just a few blocks higher. So we're just going to continue on this to about right here. Then what we're going to do is actually we're going to go back one or two. And we're going to change the slope to about one by five. That's the next plan, so let's do that. We're just going to go across 5, and then we're going to go to 6 here. So we're going to go across 6, just like this. Then maybe we'll change to 7, just like that. And then we'll go and skip to 10. Okay, once we're at 10, we're going to go... Actually, we're going to decrease back to 7. So it's all about trial and error to see what you want and how you want it. So we're going to go about to 7, just a little bit further. Let's see the overall scale of things. Maybe we'll decrease this to about, well not decrease, but increase to about 8. And we'll probably decrease the overall height that it goes to. So we're going to go about, go to 8 just a few more times. And from here we'll go to 10. Same with here. So we have two blocks left. So what we'll do is we'll divide this between the um, two stretches of 10. So those will be 12 each. Okay. So... What we're going to do is we're going to decrease the height of this a little bit now. So we want the very tip to be as thin as possible, while the very base to be as thick as we need. So um, what we'll do is we'll simply drag this. So this is about four. This is going to be four blocks, and it's going to slowly slope the right way. But we need to see the slope. So it's going over 12, but this one is going over four, 16. So we'll change this one to 16, so that we actually get a head start on getting a nice dense wing. So here we're actually going to decrease this to 14, so it's faster than the other slope. It's less steep than the other slope, so we'll continue with this, but not quite that fast. So right, right about here, we'll decrease this to about 12, then we're going to go to about 10 or so. We'll continue with 10 twice more. And then we'll decrease it to about 8 or so. And yeah, we'll pretty much just drag along like this until about maybe a couple more. And then we'll decrease the number again. So now, um, let's actually go back one or two. So we'll go back to here. So right here, we're going to start with 6. And then we'll decrease to 5. And then 4. Or we'll stick with 5 for now. And that's pretty much it except we'll make it 
one longer than these so that we're slowly getting thicker and thicker. That's the plan. So this is five, this is five. Let's increase these to six and six, just like this. This is going to be six. Same with this. This will be six. And then we'll go to about five here. This is where we're going to switch. So this is this is going to be a very big, dense wing, but that's all right. So the end of the wing ends about here. So that's the shape of our wing. Okay, guys, now that you have this base wall, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get the top layout of the wing. And yeah, pretty much we'll just do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and grab a simple one by two wedge and we'll place this right here just like this and pretty much you're going to want to get a repeating pattern going on but first let's do the top part of the wing i mean the front part the front leading edge and pretty much we'll just um start this out so that we have a simple layout to configure it so you're going to drag it as far forward as you possibly can and then you're going to want to line it up with the um the part where you want to stop so we'll just do that that's perfect so what we'll do is we'll go all the way back and now that we see we have this front part we're going to kind of make a semi slope sloping wing that goes along here and then it curves backwards so it um looks pretty even so what we'll do is we'll do a one by two wedge like this and one by two inverse wedge so it makes this slope then we're going to grab this one third block and pretty much what we'll do is we'll simply just build away from it just like this and what we'll do from there is we'll simply copy this and then we'll paste it right here as well as here and from here what we'll do is we'll go ahead and do it one more time and then from there what you want to do is you want to go over two blocks and you simply want to place this down just like this you're going to go over two blocks and we want to pretty much get a repeating pattern uh just like this and it'll pretty much be the exact same as a one by four wedge slope but it'll work better with this little bit afterwards for a step that's coming up so stay tuned for that if you want to do this so what we'll do is we'll go as far back as here simply copy it and paste it just like that and over time this is going to get bigger so what we'll do is we'll just do a simple time lapse no just kidding i'm not going to do that so what we'll do is we'll just continue building along right here until we are near the end but right about here we're going to change the slope around so it's going to be four blocks and then a one by two so that it's a little bit better little bit more even on the slope part so we'll just simply do this and this until we decide to copy and paste it so we'll just do that we'll copy and paste it until it's perfect and pretty much we're just making the wing get bigger and bigger and bigger that's the current plan at least the surface area so it's starting to look like it's gonna be a little bit too big so what we'll do is we'll go back and we'll undo a little bit of this and we'll continue with the other slope, which is a one by two wedge, and then a two blocks extending out. So we'll just simply copy this and we will paste it. And we'll paste it again and again and again until we've reached the edge. So about um, say one third or one fourth of the way to the back, you're simply going to want to Actually, before we do that, let's merge these really quick. Okay, so about right here or so, like a fourth of the way to the wing, depending on the plane, it's going to be um, uh, some distance, whatever the distance is. You're simply just going to want to make this flat. This is um, on some planes. Some planes they have it. Other planes they don't. Depends on the plane. So what I usually do is I usually just do this. So... What we're going to want to do is we're going to want to smooth this out a little bit. So let's do that. So let's simply go from here and we'll just change the slope around. So it's um, a one by two wedge and then three blocks. So what we'll do from that is we'll just simply copy this and paste it. Then we'll paste it again. Then we'll change the slope again. 
by adding one more block, and then we'll copy this and paste it until we've meet, met this, the row of straight blocks. So that's pretty much it for getting the top view, the that part of the blueprint. Well, not the blueprint, but that part of the um, wing. So here's a very crucial step on getting the wing shape right. So what you want to do is you're going to want to select all of the wing, every last bit, including this bit over here, which what we'll do is we'll actually just change this around a little bit. So we'll go ahead and copy this. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to paste it to be in a stack, just like this, all the way until you get a giant thick block that goes from the highest point over here to the lowest point down here. So what I like to do is I like to go up a few blocks and then I like to merge them just like this and then I resize the grid. Then I copy and paste it two or three more times but in this case we can just go to the very top and then it'll be good. Okay so from here actually we need to go up one more block. Okay there we go. Now let's go ahead and remerge everything and just like that that'll be perfect. So, this next step is kind of important, so pay attention to this. So, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to grab right about here, not all the way at the top of the wing, but you can get to the get the top of the wing. What you're going to want to do is you're going to copy this and paste this until it matches up with the furthest block over it like this. So it doesn't delete it, but it's also right next to it. So, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to, well, first of all, delete the bottom row. That's not important. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the very tip, the point, and you're pretty much just going to want to slide all the way over until you start deleting the wing. As you can see, way over there, it's starting to delete the green blocks. So we'll go to about right here. That's, um, that's going to be to the point where it's not going to delete the wing green blocks and pretty much what you're going to want to do is you're going to simply repeat over and over again until you've reached the end which we'll do that a couple more times just to show you um, pretty much just like that it'll start carving out the wing it'll carve out the wing for you so you just have to make sure you're not deleting the green blocks and you'll be fine so we'll just do that uh, we'll say two more blocks um, so what I'm going to do from here is I'm just going to go into a short time lapse since this part's just repetitive. I'm just going to repeat this until I get all the all the way to the very top. And yeah. Okay guys, now that we finished that, what we'll do is we'll do the very top row. So pretty much what we'll do to do this is we'll drag this along until we reach the very end, except we just need to look straight down. So you're not facing sideways, left, right, or anything, but you look straight down at it. And while you're deleting, you hover your mouse over the undeleted section. Okay, just like that. And this way you can delete as much as you need without actually deleting this. So don't delete this but delete until you're hovering over right next to it. Okay? And pretty much what this will do is this, this will start to carve out the very top row, and that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and do the rest of this, which we're actually pretty close to done. We just have a few more rows to go. So what I'll do is I'll put on a short time lapse, and then I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, guys. Now that you see this, we have a little bit of a carved out wing. That's pretty much what we're going for. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to, on the back side, not the front side, but the back side, what we're going to do is we're going to delete everything except the very bottom block. And pretty much, we're just going to repeat this all the way till the end. So, I'll delete it while talking. So pretty much, we just got to completely everything except the very bottom row so it leaves a thin line just like this this will be the leading edge to the aft of the wing okay so um what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to put this in a quick time lapse since it's pretty self-explanatory and i'll be right back with you guys okay guys that was actually pretty quick so what we're going to do now is we're going to do the leading edge we're going to make it round and all that so 
what we're going to do is we're going to go to we're going to delete these two rows right here uh, the top row so this is going to be a two one by two slope kind of leading edge the leading edge is kind of a complex thing to do depending on how complex you go so you could do up to like one by yeah uh, well not one by ones but two by twos for the slope you could also do two by fours but it is really tedious and tiring so what i'd suggest to do is do one by two pyramids okay uh depending on your slope if your wing is as uh sloped as a one by one then you use just pyramids and inverse pyramids so just go with the slope go with the shape and pretty much what you're going to do is you're going to leave the top almost as even as the bottom as much as possible that's the goal at least so what we're going to do is we're first of all going to just flatten these out and add the basic shapes then we'll connect them together to look a little bit better and yeah so i'll be back with you guys once i've finished that so just actually as far as right here just go until it's about five blocks in thickness or however many blocks in the middle is just at all cost avoid bringing it down to a point so say for example you have two on the top and two on the bottom just like this avoid this at all costs it looks kind of weird and it's just odd but you can if you want but i'm heavily suggesting against it it's up to you at the end of the day it is your build you can do that but yeah so what we're going to do is we're going to continue with the one by twos well not the one by twos but the two block slope on the top for now until it gets thin enough that we can't do that anymore so let's check this to see if this is not four okay it's good so let's go ahead fill this in just like this and this one will be good this one will be good all the way to about right here this is where we're going to change it up a bit so let's go ahead delete this and then delete this as well and we'll fill this in and we'll also fill this in okay let's go ahead and from here what we'll do is we'll change the slope so it's only one on the top okay and we're going to continue this all the way to the end so let's do that really quick and yeah i'll be back with you guys once i've done that okay guys so i'm not completely done but what i have run into is a dilemma so sometimes the wings will get one block thick my suggestion for this is just to leave the um one block thick section for the upward slope like this instead of leaving it for the bottom but it's your preference you can leave it alone or you can change it up it's up to you so um now that we've completed that we need to do it on the bottom as well the bottom is going to be a little bit more complex since it's a very different shape so what we'll do is we'll just simply go like this and continue this up so it is very important that you keep and maintain and remember how many blocks long and wide each layer is so you don't keep track and it gets weird and wonky and unproportional by the end so yeah just remember to keep track of where everything is so what we're going to do is we're just simply going to do this and i'll be back with you guys until i run into a difficult situation that i might potentially need to explain to you guys Okay guys, here's another little bit of a situation that we have. So what we have here is going to be a weird connection. So what I would suggest you do is just fill it in like this. And then for this top bit, you just fill this in with blocks. It's a pretty simple solution that will uh, work for now. So we're actually gonna come back to this in a little bit and I'll explain how to do that. But for now, just continue with this pattern until the very end, which is now. Okay. So, connecting the bits and pieces so they don't look weird. Alright, first of all, I need to explain something. So, each layer on the wing is going to end with about this much space. So, just keep that in mind. Um, actually, this... We forgot to do this, so let's just fill this in really quick. Okay, so each row is going to end with this little bit of wedging. So, what we're going to do is we're simply going to change... Oh, Actually, we got to fix this. We just undid that. So what we'll do is we'll simply delete this little bit, just like that. And we'll simply just fill this in with one by one wedges. And we'll put this back here. We actually didn't need to delete that. So the row is going to end like this. And you could just leave it like this for the top. We're only focusing on the top row right now. 
but the bottom row will get two in just a minute. So simply just fill that in like that, and then put that there. Okay, and continue until you can't. Another way you could actually do it is a inverse one by four pyramid. If you have the right area for it, it can look better depending on the situation. But for now, I'm just going to leave it as this. Okay, so we have a little bit of a situation where this wouldn't evenly slope up. It We can't really do that. So what we'll do is we'll just simply drag this up like this. Or what we can, can do is we could do this, and then we could add this one by one inverse pyramid right there. That'll work. Okay, so let's just keep moving on until we're into another situation. Okay, we've finished that. We've done the top row. Now we need to do the bottom row. So this is a little bit more complicated and sometimes it doesn't work, sometimes it does work, but one method I like to do for this specific slope is a little bit of a weird one, but it does work. So simply put this right here, uh, just like this, and follow how I do it, and that's how you do this type. Okay, so like we had on the top, we're going to finish each layer off like this. It's going to be the same on the bottom. So after each um, uprising, we're going to have a one by one wedge that'll go across like that. But for now, what we'll do is we'll just actually what we can do is we can just um, add these really quickly, just like this. So sometimes it breaks the block, but that's fine. You can just replace it with that. So each layer is going to be like this, and we'll leave that like that for now. So we'll get this simple solution, and we'll just copy it, copy and paste it along until we can't, and then I'll be back with you guys. Okay guys, now we've gotten to a place where it's a little bit more simple. Rather than transitioning like this, where it's a little bit awkward, what we can do is we could simply just place this right here. And that didn't last long, so what we'll do is we'll go back to the other strategy. Well, we can, and we could just simply uh, place the inverse pyramid right here. And we'll drag it up, and simply like that, it's done. Okay, and we'll just continue this on, continue on like this. So yeah, I'll meet you guys when there's another situation. Okay guys, there's a little bit of a situation right here where we can't really use this strategy, nor this right here. So what we're going to simply do is we're just going to delete this right here and we're just going to place this right here. So that looks okay as is. It looks a little bit awkward, but it'll be fine. So. We're just going to simply place those right here, and bam, we finished that. So, now what we need to do is, after we finish the leading edge, which that looks absolutely amazing, so what we're going to do is we're simply going to drag the one by one wedges all the way across, just like this, and if there is a block in the way, just delete it. Okay, just as long as it's not like two or three blocks behind the one block uh, leading edge. So one block thick leading edge I meant. So we're just going to simply drag this along here. I think they might all be um, off by one block, but that's okay. So I'm just going to do a quick time lapse until I finish this, unless the wedges, the one by two wedges make it awkward and then I'll kind of give out some pointers and strategies, but sometimes they satisfyingly line up perfectly like that, which it's really satisfying when it happens but sometimes it doesn't happen, sometimes it does. When it does happen, it's good. When it doesn't, it's not. So, um, if you have a situation like this, you just place an extra block. As long as it lines up with the front leading edge, then it's good. Okay, so we'll just continue to the end. Okay, guys, now that we finished that, I'm kind of gonna, I'm going to go over if there's a situation where the leading edge well, not the leading edge, but this row of wedges kind of went like this. So if it does go like that, simply just delete that and pretty much just build a one by one wedge like this. Or what you can do is just leave it like that and over the large scale of things, if it's a larger wing, nobody's going to notice. So if that does happen, you could just do that. Okay, guys, we've done a majority of the wing. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do the fun part, the layering. So, for this very top part, what we're going to do is we're simply going to change this 1x2 pyramid to 
uh, this inverse pyramid and pyramid, all that. We're just going to slope it down just like this. That's the current plan. So we'll just delete this and we'll start off with this. Okay, so let's just place that there. We'll place this here and we will place this right here. Okay, then we'll place a one by one watch here. And the one by two inverse pyramid, we'll place this right here. And now that we are over another surface, what we'll do is we'll simply grab a one by one wedge and we'll drag it to about right here. So the plan is to get the slope, this slope, this layer, as close to this point as possible while making it round. So you're going to want to make it as round as possible. Now that we've done that, what we can do is actually... From this, we don't actually have to change this since it's not one block thick total. What we can do is simply grab another slope and just start it with this. And since it's a fairly steep slope, what we'll do is we'll simply grab the 1x2 pyramids and we'll just simply drag it to here, which we'll have to go a little bit further since it didn't line up perfectly. We'll have to go to there, and perfect. That worked. Sometimes you could actually just replace this with the inverse pyramid to make it look a little bit better. It's up to you so yeah it's it's really all up to you for preference you can in fact turn this leading edge to this type of slope it's it's completely up to you on the large scale of things some people notice some people don't it's totally fine yeah so what we're going to do is we're just going to layer a little bit more so yeah just practice 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 until you get better at it that's the main goal to get better at it with um with limited effort while building it what i mean by that is you don't put any effort you i mean you get so good that you don't have to put that much effort to make it look good kind of like this depending on your preference this could look good to you this could not depends on you so what we'll do is we'll just continue and finish off so yeah i'm just going to put it on a quick time lapse while i do this Okay guys, now that we've finished layering as far as this, which uh, at this point the leading edge is flattened out, what we're going to simply do is we're just going to drag it along, and depending on the person, sometimes they like to drag it all the way straight out like this, where it meets here, so this area is a little bit more flat than this, so you can do that, however, another way you could do this is you could simply just drag this along like this and continue the pattern like there is no edge and that is way that that way a lot more people prefer it prefer it and it sometimes looks better sometimes it doesn't but in this situation it most likely will so we'll just simply continue the pattern just like that okay let's do the next layer just like this okay so we'll simply just Drag it out like that. Perfect. Okay, we'll do the same for here. And we'll drag it to about right here. So we're not going to do a 1 by 2 wedge because of how little and insignificant this slope would make. So we'll just leave it like that. Okay, we'll do this part. And we'll simply just drag it to about right there. And for this part, what we'll do is we'll drag it a little bit. And then we'll actually curve it the other way to even out this last little edge. Just like that. Okay, guys. So, there you go. There's the framing and the basics of how to build an advanced wing. Now, this next part, what you're, what you're going to want to do is fill everything in. It's as simple as that. This part is probably one of the most time-consuming parts. The bottom part is not time-consuming, but the top part is very time-consuming. So, just a heads up on that. It does take time, but it does look really beautiful in the end. So, yeah. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on a quick time lapse, showing me finish, fin finishing off the wing, and yeah, just sit back, relax, and enjoy, I suppose. Okay, guys, now that we've filled it in the bottom, what we're going to do is fill in the top. So don't just go ahead and fill this in just like that, because that way it's going to make the wing not hollow and super thick and unnecessarily heavy. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to simply fill in long wedges, just like this. 
so that it fills in this top and it does minimal on the bottom. So that's how we're going to do it. So yeah, I'll meet you guys back once we finish that. And yeah, sit back, relax, and enjoy the time lapse. All right, guys, now that we filled that in, that's pretty much all we have to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to move it forward a little bit, just like this. And I'm going to spun it in so you guys can see it a little bit better. That's all I'm going to do for the tutorial for today. But um, if you guys need to rewatch it, it's a video, so you can rewind it as many times as you need. You're probably not going to make a good looking wing on the first time. I know I didn't. Using this type of strategy, it took me like 30, not 30, but 15 plus wings to get really good at it. Well, to an extent where they started looking good. So don't get frustrated when your first one doesn't look good. Just keep practicing and yeah, pretty much that's about it. So um, I do appreciate you guys tuning in and watching the tutorial. I do want to thank you guys for watching to the end if you guys did. And I hope you guys found it very informative and entertaining at the same time. So with all that said, I'm going to see you guys in the next one. So yeah, thank you guys all so much for watching. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and join my Discord. It'll be linked down below. While you're at it, you might as well turn on notifications so you're notified every single time I upload. So with that said, I will see you guys in the next one. So yeah, bye for now.